Maybe okay. I should relax a little too. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me uh, catch everybody up to where I'm at. As you can see, I'm wearing some different uh, clothes right now. Um, basically, this vest and this helmet is pretty much like a better version of what I had on before. Well, this vest, it's like the samurai jacket that I had on um, at, at the very beginning of the game. Except it gives me the... Except... It gives me the the uh the uh, uh the same affinities that that uh jacket had, but with four points more of uh health, and this mask that I have on here, or this scarf, this wrap, it gives me four on my dexterity and agility and it takes away three uh, on my magic and my agility but I can get that back no problem so next I want to level up um, also I don't know if let me lift this up so you guys can see the bottom of this uh, also what I did was I had gotten a new gun um, I got this sword that it can um, it inflict the panic effect, which I'm not exactly sure what it does. I think it causes like some type of uh, um, confusion or something like that. But I got this sword. I got a new rifle. I'm a new gun. I didn't buy any new bullets or anything like that and I'm wearing the silver necklace from some mission that I got earlier uh, also I sold like a bunch of my high priced uh, items things like that like as you can see like all that's gone from my inventory I sold it all due to me needing money to get certain certain things done um, also the of yeah, special fusion uh, I'm level 22 now, so I was able to, to fuse uh, uh, these two demons that I unlocked, which was David and and um, I only know Uzumi. I fused those two, and I did a bunch of other fusions. I did a bunch of other fusions, and uh, show you that. So I'll show you my party real quick. All right, so here's me. <laughs> and here's one of my demons right there, Moshiu. Moshiu, Archangel. I think you guys seen this. Now the funny thing about Archangel is that Archangel um, is a uh, divine demon, and the divine demons are uh, one in a handful. Of types of demons that can evolve and he's actually one level away from evolving so when you get him around like level 20 or so like these messages are gonna pop up just letting you know that he's about to evolve but when you get him to level 22 supposedly that's when he evolves so that's basically what I'm doing with uh, this demon right now um, of course David I showed you David I'll show you David uh, I got Apis um, so, I can't remember exactly who I fused to make this thing. I don't think it was. I don't know, but these are all the demons right here. Like I can't remember exactly what I used. I know I had got me a, uh, another hooligan uh, off the field. I think it was an Asperas. Uh, Chances are, like it was this food demon, and it was uh, uh what you call him, um, uh, this demon right here. But I'm not exactly sure which ones I used to fuse it because it was like a minute ago. But uh, yeah, Apis. Um, I got this guy right here, and he's really strong. The only problem is that he has a lot of magic moves, and like his magic points aren't that high, so he runs out of magic pretty quick. But he's pretty strong, as you can see. Um, I use, ah, oh man, 
Ame no Uzume and another demon to fuse this together. Fuse this one together. Ame no Uzume right there. I, I think it was this. Oh yeah. And it was Kabuso. He was actually the demon I needed to form her. So, kind of ironic. But I went back uh, to the Compodium. And I no, um, I fused her and my dwarf. So, yeah, I fused her and the dwarf for that. I got this guy right here. Etinike. Etinike. I had caught another hooligan, and that's. And I caught a poltergeist. And that made him. Because I already showed you, uh. Moshivu. This is Epon Datara. I fused. Let me see. It was a. Yeah, this food demon, and I believe it was Oni, those two. So, and I caught, I had, uh, scouted this. Also, what I did when I leveled up, I got another demon skill slot, and I got a new skill slot for myself. Um, so right now, at this current point, I am in the middle of a yes. mission. Oh, and another thing, I knew I had something else that I wanted to say. Uh, basically, everything that I did on this file right here, I had saved up top and everything. And right before I had did anything in this current file, I had saved this bottom file right there. So if it's, if it's something that happened that I don't like, you know, then I could just go back to it. But chances are I might end up saving over this in the near future. So, but yeah, it's there. You know, we'll see. I don't know if me selling all that high price stuff was a good thing because a lot of our stuff was very valuable but I needed to uh need to get these fusions but speaking of that let me save real quick so, and the uh silver necklace that I'm wearing it gives me a nullifying uh affinity to uh, at a bind so I don't have to worry about that but yeah in the middle of a quest a challenge quest real quick just pretty simple for me to finish I have to get this film and I have to take it to this lady that's that's in a building that's right behind this area that I'm currently in but I know how to get to her you know so like relatively quick so that's not gonna be a problem but one thing you need to know that when you um, start this quest what you gotta do is you gotta come to this lady right here uh, this lady right here and what she's gonna do is give you this photo camera that you need to take to that lady that you're gonna go that I'm gonna uh, head to right now so yeah let me uh just head there real quick. And she's easy to find. She's like right behind here. She's right behind here. And I like this place right here is where she is. So I'm gonna stop the video right here. I'm gonna try to up the brightness a bit see if that helps and uh we're gonna continue